So if you're anything like me, this is what your wooden boxes or your natural wooden things look like when you've painted them straight from a kit. It's not terribly convincing and obviously there's room for improvement. Well, have no fear, let's go. And the third method is the method I use for painting actual wood. So this is real wood that's used in a scale environment and it soaks up paint beautifully, gives you a really lovely natural texture like this. Okay, method number three. So this is to use with natural wood. So I've got here a piece of natural wood. Um, you can you know, quite often pick this up really, really cheap at hobby shops. Um, otherwise, sometimes it comes with kits if you're really lucky, multimedia kits. But it's beautiful to work with. So if you're after like a, a piece of debris from a ruined building or uh, if you want to make a window frame, something like that, then this is a winner for you. Um, what I would recommend is rough it up a little bit, particularly if it's meant to be debris. So let's try and not put my handle over that. So I use just a scalpel to kind of feather the end of it. If you're really keen, you can add a bit of weathering, a bit of you know, wear and tear to it. Um, the method we're going to use is to soak this up with thin washers and so these cuts will really soak up the ends um, it'll you know, filter all that beautiful thin paint in and it'll just give you a great result so look, yeah, it's up to you what you do for your final result doesn't look crazy different on camera there but I promise you it will make a difference so your next step is to thin some paints and really it doesn't matter what you use, you can use acrylics, you can use enamels, you can use a mixture of all of them. All you've got to do, thin them down into a wash and then splat them on. So really it all depends what kind of effect you're trying to achieve. So I'm going to use a little bit of black here, thinned quite noticeably with some water, so that's still too thick. You really want this as a thin, almost a filter rather than a wash. And just let that capillary action of the wood be your friend. So you can already see that's looking pretty good there. Um, it's already soaking in. This method is you know, best for... That's a bit too thick in the middle there, that blob there, a little bit too much. Um, this method is for beautiful for weathered wood. Um, already, yeah, that's looking pretty good. I find this way it works beautifully. I'm going to try a little bit of some green, see what that does for us. Might even splat it into the black there. Um, like I said, just, you know, feel free to experiment. It's all about trying to get that weathered feel that you're after. Um, leave some spots where the original wood will show through and you know, really just experiment and play around. The only things I would say is if this is say a door for example and it's touching the ground you'll get moisture wicking up from the bottom of the ground up through the door so whatever is touching the bottom of the ground be a bit more heavy handed with that. So for example this bit here. And really that's all there is to it. It'll give you a beautiful result like this. So there you go. That's method number three. Um, third method that I've done for painting wood for my scale models. Uh, what I love about this method is that you, know, you can't beat the actual authentic use of real wood. The texture is just gorgeous and you know, just watching that paint soak into it is very satisfying and you do get a really beautiful result. Um, you know, obviously if you've got the wood to build you can't beat that um, and you know, it's just a really fun way to do things. Um, if you do have any questions or comments please do comment below and otherwise check out my blog it's davesmodelworkshop.com and keep an eye out for the other two videos in this series there are two other methods of painting wood that i've spoken about and they are all very useful to have in your repertoire until next time until next time guys check you later bye